With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that it is an assertion and reason question. So basically it's given the speed of light in water is not same as that in flowing water. Okay. And it is also given the reason that the speed of light is not, not independent of the relative motion between observer and medium. So yeah, we have to see about it. So basically if we see, okay, about uh, a jar. Okay. Well, let's see about not a jar. Let's see about one case that uh, let's suppose this is a beaker. Okay, this is a beaker and it is filled with water. Okay, up till here. So we all know that what happens when light falls upon it, it will bend. Obviously, that's quite understood. Why does it bend? Because the speed of the light changes. Okay, this is the normal to a point. Okay, and if light is falling like this, okay, it will bend towards the normal because the refractive index of water, water is greater than refractive index of air. Okay, so what will happen? speed of light this is the speed of light in water will be less than speed of light in air that's why this bent towards the normal okay and normally it should have gone like this but now it has bent towards the normal why because due to refraction okay so now what we see if uh, this water is not still okay it is flowing then what will happen is that there will be some change that is what let's suppose this water is flowing in this direction okay then if you see, you might have uh, known in uh, means you have you might have seen in uh, things also like uh, the basically about uh, many uh, videos and all that uh, when light falls upon a flowing water and you might might have seen practically also it basically bends a little less. Okay, means if uh, it was still water, it was it would have bent like this. Let's suppose okay, and it if uh, there was no water, it would have gone like this, but since it the water is flowing it will go somewhat in the middle okay why because the light basically light is not independent independent of the motion between medium which over here is water okay medium and observer okay observer okay you might uh, you can see it practically also if you uh, see a falling water on a tap okay let's suppose this is a tap i'll explain you with one last example this is a tap and if you if this falling water coming off it what will happen is that basically if you uh, pass a light ray through it it will bend towards the normal that's quite understood but it will bend less okay means it should have gone like this but it will bend a little lesser why because of this velocity of the water got it so basically our answer will be what our answer will be option number a that both assertion and reason are correct and a reason is correct explanation of the assertion got it thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today